Hi, this is Alicia from WorkersOnBoard.com. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to show you how to create your own resume for free. What site you can use in order to do this. How to save it to your computer so that you can send it to employers that require you to submit a resume as a part of the application process. Now some of you that are watching this video may not have a resume and that's fine for now because there are some companies that do not require you to send a resume to them. I'll try to leave a link to a few companies that do not require a resume. The majority of work at home employers do require you to submit a resume and if you don't have one then you'll definitely want to watch this video to find out how to do that or if you know someone who wants to work from home and don't have and does not have a resume or if you know somebody who wants to work not necessarily from home but wants to get a job and they need a resume this video will be helpful for them as well so make sure you share this video with them now if you're looking for specifically a work at home job Please go to the Friday freebie page. I posted new work at home jobs today. I didn't get to post them yesterday as I normally do, but I did earlier this afternoon. And so you can see a list of those companies, including the details as well as how much they pay. Another page you can go to on my official website is the weekly job section. And you will see a list of companies that I just posted the other day and who's what company is hiring as well as the details there too and also if you go to the home page you're going to see a post where it mentions virtual agents needed to work from home hiring now make sure you click on that and then when you go there you'll see a list of additional companies that are hiring people to work from home right now Please feel free to scroll down the page of the weekly job section and Friday freebie pages because even though some of those job leads have been posted earlier or in the month prior or something like that or a couple months prior, they still may need people to work from home. They may not have filled all those positions. So if you see something you're interested in, just go ahead and apply it. Don't forget to go to our Facebook group, and I'll try to leave the links below this video to everything that I mentioned. You can join us here and find out more reviews from people who work for the companies that you're interested in applying to. They may know about the hiring process, the application process, what the interview is like, and other details as well as tips to help you to get a work at home job and support that you need as you look for companies trying to find out what's legit what's going to be best for you then they'll give you a lot of advice all you have to do is click on the link and then click to join and then i will approve you and then you can start asking questions and interacting with the community now like i said it's important for you to have a resume if you don't have one now this is probably a goal of yours especially if you want to work from home because what you what you will find is that more companies more than not require you to submit a resume so how are you going to do this now a lot of people don't want to spend or even have the money to get someone to write a resume for them but the good news is is that you don't have to have someone do it for you you can do it yourself and have a professional resume that you will feel comfortable sending to potential work at home employers. The site that you can use is called Canva. Now here you can design pretty much anything. I use this site to design um, banners for my blog, also YouTube thumbnails. I use it to create social media posts, also a post that I include in my blog. You can see some of my designs here. Now I'm not um, very creative but I have um, used this platform to be able to have used this platform to kind of incorporate those templates into my designs and then I just tailor it according to what the post 
that I've written says or um, what I want to express the main thought in these um, designs. So you can do it too. It's free to use. It doesn't cost you any money unless you do an upgrade or something like that, but that's not necessary. So what we're going to do here, just I'm just showing you some of the designs that I've created. So what we're going to do is when you go back, let me go back one step. So we're going to click home here and then here you'll see it tells you you can create a design because I've kind of played around with this template a little bit. It brings it up first, but if you don't see it when you log in and you can sign up for an account, it's free. You can either register with your social media profile or email address. And then um, when you go to create a design, a design, you can either click here and type in resume at the very top, or you can just continue to click here and then you'll eventually see resume. Either way, you'll get to it. So what I'm gonna do is just click here. And what you saw is um, that I had already uploaded was that resume template. Now I'm just gonna show you what they look like. They're very professional they're user friendly and um, I think um, look very professional and I'm sure you probably would agree to so you can kind of play around with some of the resumes now in order to know if it's free or not and like I told you most of the things that you'll use on Canva are free so right below here it lets you know that it's free and if you get a template that's not free you'll just have to take the watermarks off I've used templates before that cost money, but as long as you remove those watermarks, you won't have to pay anything. And you just click on the watermark and then click the delete button and then it'll delete it. So you can still save it and use it if you want to do that. So you can scroll down and look at some of the resume templates that they have. This is one that they have that you could also use and tailor it according to your individual skills as well as uh, personal information um, this is a, a resume a sample or a simple resume actually these are what these are called simple resumes they have infographic resumes minimalistic resumes corporate resumes creative ones photo resumes colorful resumes um, academic and, and the list goes on and on um, what I would recommend if you go here is just to click on professional resume. If you don't feel comfortable submitting your picture here, uh, of course you could opt to leave that blank, but I think it could be very helpful. I like this particular template because it's simple um, and it's easy to follow for an employer. And they can just go straight directly to look at your work experience or your skills below and it's not cluttered also um, I like the idea that you can put a photo in your resume template because since you work from home or you want to work from home they can't see you and so having a photo of yourself kind of makes it a little bit more personable here if you want to change the name all you have to do is just click on the box and it's so simple you just put your name in and then what I do is just delete the rest and then below that you just click there sometimes you have to click twice and I might have to do that too here but um, all you're basically doing is you're editing that information and putting in your own so I just put that there and then if I wanted to delete this picture all I have to do is delete it you see this delete um, trash box here and then upload over here a photo of myself and I have photos that have already been uploaded on Canva uploaded photos and then put my own personal photo in there then I could just simply edit the content that's listed here to reflect my individual skills education experience and personal profile as well as contact information now when you go to enter this information in keep one thing in mind it's really really important to have good grammar skills now if you're struggling with that um, and you're not 
very comfortable with your grammar you can use Grammarly and I use this too when I write posts on my blog it is one of the best I feel in my opinion grammar checkers out there online and it's completely free to use it will make sure that you don't have any typos any errors if you need hyphens in between words it will check all of that for you and so when an employer decides to look at resumes when a recruiter is looking at those resumes that are submitted by potential candidates one of the things that they look at is your grammar skills so that could also help you to be offered to interview if you have good grammar skills so a person may be very very skilled and very qualified but if they have typos and grammar errors they may decide to go with a candidate that has good grammar skills especially if your job is going to consist of a you typing or writing or something like that so just keep that in mind also good grammar skills are very very important because not only will it help you to possibly be offered a job but you may even be one of the candidates that they look to to get a raise and possibly a promotion especially if they're impressed with your grammar skills employers may also decide to look at your social media post and profile and if they see typos and errors there then they may decide to go with another candidate so just make sure you're, you have good grammar skills all across the board wherever you are visible online because now nowadays a lot of employers will go back and look at your social media profiles and kind of see if your grammar skills are up to standard it will also help you having good grammar skills be a good a better typist let me put it that way because it'll give you more confidence and you'll be able to type focus more on your speed rather than the grammar and if you continue to practice that then you'll get better your speed will get better you'll be more accurate and you'll feel very very confident so these are some reasons why you want to make sure your grammar is good and you try to improve that especially if you're pursuing online writing jobs where the majority of your job is going to be writing you will definitely get, need good grammar skills or if you're going to be tutoring students or if you're going to be decide to write your own novel ebook maybe you want to start an email newsletter and build up subscribers to that newsletter or you want to start a blog or even join a Facebook group having good grammar skills um, kind of people a lot of times especially in a group or a community they value the thoughts opinions and advice of those with good grammar skills as opposed to a person that doesn't have them so these are just some you know benefits of having good grammar so here on your resume template like I said you're just gonna edit everything um, whatever your skills are if you're a good listener whatever it is if you have previous or if you um, are able to connect with people you can put all of that on your resume it just depends on like I said um, your indiv individual skills and, and preferences what I would recommend for you to do is go to the resume page here on workersonboard.com because there's some very helpful tips that um, you will want to kind of consider as you write your resume actually it probably won't even take you it probably will just take a few minutes of your time to complete your resume here it won't take long of course you can if you don't if you don't want to leave your cell phone number you don't have to and I would definitely recommend that you put references on your resume possibly a cover letter too but definitely put some references or resources so that they can have something to refer back to in case they need to kind of check your um, 
previous employers or um, others who may be able to say yes that this is a, a good, good candidate or I had a wonderful experience with them and, and they can give you a good referral or recommendation so just make sure you you have that on your resume um, but on the resume page if you go over these there's just a kind of bullet points that will help you to make sure that your resume will stand out make sure it's up to date for sure make sure your resume is clean professional accurate of course like I said up to date and simple when you use Grammarly this will help you to avoid no typos or grammar errors you can fill in the gaps if there's something missing keep it simple focus on your skills and uh, any kind of achievements and if you're not sure what to put on a resume if you haven't worked before I would recommend just scroll down to the page and it'll tell you some things that you can you can put on there but um, a lot of employers that are looking for people to work from home want you to have been able to work independently that's always a plus because it shows that you ha you can work without having a physical boss over your head so whether that means that you sold Avon or you were able to um, cut hair or style hair or you did people's hair or something like that or maybe you were you did detailing or uh, maybe you did delivery you um, delivered food or something like that anything like that that shows that you're able to work um, independently is always going to be an advantage to you so after you complete your resume like I said you're just going to tailor this to your preference and then after that's completed what you want to do is you're going to come over here so um, once you're finished with everything then at the very top you'll see a down arrow and you want to click that and it suggests that you do a PDF print and then download it to your computer and then something will pop up it'll say that it's preparing your design of course you don't have to do that you can X that out if you want to but that's not necessary but then you can just say resume or whatever you want here and then save it my resume let's do that and then save it click save to your computer and then when you go to upload it to those employers then all you have to do is search for that file on your computer and then upload it and send it to them it's that simple so after you've completed your resume make sure if anything changes um, if it's six months down the line go back and make some updates and changes if you need to do that um, anything that you've done whether if you've worked an internship anything or you've done volunteer work that's always good to add on your resume as well especially if you don't have any work experience as far as a paid working job also um, this is going to help you to eventually you continue to send those resumes to companies you'll probably be asked to interview and that can be intimidating for some of you all one of the questions you may be asked by a recruiter is tell me a little bit about yourself how would you answer that question well you definitely don't want to be stumped in an interview so what you can do is read this post here this was actually written from an HR recruiter for a well-known work at home company and she wrote this and sent it to me and I published it on my blog and I know one thing in here she it tells you exactly what you can say to answer that question effectively but she also mentions that you only have seven seconds to make a strong first impression and that's really true that can come with either um, your resume or the interview or both so just keep that in mind make sure that that you're prepared and that you're confident and that you focus on your assets whatever they are and that you let the company and do some research about that company so that you'll know what to expect going in for that interview so that you will be familiar with them and also what they may expect from you depending upon what position you apply to so hopefully some of these tips will be helpful and 
I think that if you incorporate them and use them and go ahead and submit your resume, it will help you. And all of these things that I mentioned are free, so you don't have to pay anything. Um, a lot of you all have asked me to write a resume for you, and I thought about doing it at one time, but really when I look at it, they have, Canva has everything you need, so you don't really need anybody to do it for you because they have so many templates to use and they really make it easy and user-friendly and they probably come up with better suggestions than I ever could so I wanted you all to take advantage of this and use this and continue to go back to my blog and see who's hiring now so that you can you don't have to allow not having a resume to prevent you from getting a work at home job Thank you all so much for watching. And if you do get hired, please share your good news on our Facebook group. So even if you don't get a job, there are some things that you can do from home. So you can find new ways to make money online. So don't forget to join our Facebook groups. Now I have, we have four workers on board community, extra cash sites, um, workers on board fans, workers on board talk and home base mommy also don't forget to enter the contest for prize robo i meant to mention that earlier in the video so they are giving away cash bonus to um, workers on board fans so don't forget to join the link will be right below this video and i will be making a video midweek about um, some other ways that you can make money from home so just make sure you stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave me those right below this video. And um, enjoy your weekend. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you check out for my next video. Thanks for watching.